Today is the day we have all been waiting for. We are about to climb an active volcano to get closer to the eruption. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm a bit stressed, but I think we're ready. We're mentally ready. Our body maybe not, but it's all about the mental. Oh, Volcán de Fuego is somewhere over there. You've probably seen it erupting if you've seen any of my other videos. Epic. <laughs> Let's go. What's up world? Welcome to my channel. My name is Amelie with an A and I am a travel vlogger from Montreal, Canada, currently traveling around Guatemala. And today is the day that gets me the most excited that we are doing the number one thing to do here in Guatemala, the Acatenango hike. So we booked the tour with Tropicana Hostel because we were staying here in Antigua a couple days ago and they have good amenities, they have cabins at the top. The hike is 500 quetzales and you have to bring cash with you to rent some equipment and also you have to pay 200 quetzales extra if you want to do the Volcán de Fuego hike. They tell you to bring four liters of water with you. You have to keep one liter and give it to the guide so that they make you coffee, hot chocolate, and your dinner. And yeah, basically that's it. Bring some cash, bring some water. Oh yeah, bring some snacks. We've got some cliff bars, we've got a bunch of little things. And now we're about to rent more equipment, like a coat and a hat, and empty out our travel bags into these plastic bags so that we can use these travel bags to hike all the way up. Hey, I'm um, looking for a bag and maybe a jacket too. My bag is super heavy. <laughs> I really thought it would be empty for the hike, but no, no. With the four liters of water, with everything that I'm bringing, super heavy and super full. I'm gonna be hiking up a mountain with this. I don't know how to do my water. Just need some strength. Yeah. <laughs> Estamos aquí, launch point. It is pretty cold at the moment. I'm debating whether or not to get a porter to bring my bag up because this is so heavy and bulky and big. And the porter is 200 quetzales. Mm, is it worth it? I don't worth know. It. <laughs> it's worth it. So here at the beginning of the hike, you can rent some hiking poles. Although I won't because I'm carrying this GoPro. Okay, so uh, we thought the beginning of the hike was going to be super warm, so we had brought some shorts, but mistake. <laughs> it is super cold, it's windy, and it's just going to get colder as we walk up. I'm a little stressed. I'm, I'm stressed. I don't know if I'm mentally, physically strong enough for this. I have not paid a porter yet. I don't know if I should. Should I pay a porter? Did you see one? I didn't see any of them. I feel like they're porters. They are? Yeah, write them yeah. in the background. <laughs> okay, chicos. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I opted out of the porter option, carrying my load on my back. Because you're a real one. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of tips and information that they told us. So we're starting here at 2,400 meters above sea level and we're hiking up to base camp, which is 3,700 meters in elevation. It's about three to five hours hiking up to base camp. And when you're at base camp, you can choose to do the Fuego hike today, like later this afternoon, this evening, to go closer to the eruptions. And then there's also a sunrise hike at 4 a.m on the other volcano so a lot of hiking <laughs> this is gonna be very hard <laughs> first viewpoint here it is we've been hiking for like five minutes but we went up a crazy amount of steps and i'm already 
so exhausted. Oops. Five minutes here. Okay. Good. This is so hard. I just had to take a break. This is the most exhausting thing I've ever done. It's basically just a limited amount of steps. Very, very, very steep. God, we just, we're just beginning. We're like 20 minutes in to a five hour journey and more. Okay, so we're at the main entrance of the park. Everyone's signing their little documents. And the real hike is about to begin. <laughs> oh my god. No. I feel like I'm dying. It is so steep. Look at this. Finally. Lunch break. It is super cold, super foggy. Really hope that it's gonna be clear when I'm gonna be at the top to see the beautiful fuego erupting. But I'm so excited, it's lunch break. They're selling tea, coffee over here. So it's gonna feel good. Take a longer break and get some food in our system. <laughs> Off we go again, into the clouds. All right, not only is it foggy as hell, it's also raining and super windy. Pray for us. So we thought this was the rest spot because we could hear people speaking, but no. They're literally rock climbing. I have no idea what I was expecting with this. I knew it was hard, but I never thought it would be this hard. So I've never done anything this hard. Save us. Go up. <laughs> the speaker was a good idea, by the way. Don't forget yours. Hey, yeah, it cheers you up. This is the part where it gets cold. There's no more trees blocking the wind. But we're not climbing so high anymore. So it's easier. Estamos aquí. Muy bien. Gracias. Base camp, Tropicana. We've made it. We're here. And. Look at the incredible view. Yes? Yes. It's 4.20 p.m. So we've been climbing for five hours. We can't see Volcán de Fuego yet, but I'm not losing hope. <laughs> we did not go through all that for nothing. Everyone's debating whether or not to do the extra Volcán de Fuego hike settling in to the cabana dorm pretty cozy in there seriously it's slowly clearing up but hope is coming back loving the dancing it's coming oh no it's going away again <laughs> Okay, so we've just decided to do the Fuego hike, which means we'll be climbing up that volcano that you don't see right now. Just hopefully we'll be able to see it erupt because we haven't seen it at all yet. Okay guys, it's erupting! That's Fuego! Second hike of the day, cool part is I don't have my backpack with me. But yeah, I feel so light. I have nothing. 
nothing with me. So the guide said that this is a very, very extreme part of the hike. Uh, they said we could turn back at any time, but there will not be any refund. <laughs> we got this, we could do this. Okay, this is gonna be really hard with the GoPro because I'm gonna need my hands. <laughs> I don't see your glove. Oh, no. Naomi lost her glove. I didn't rent gloves. That's the worst mistake. If you come here, rent a hat, a coat, some gloves. Don't forget the gloves. The view is just getting better and better with the sunset, the hikers. The volcano. <laughs> it's erupting. Volcan de Fuego. Can't believe we're actually we're coming down here and then climbing up the erupting volcano. Volcano is gone again. <coughs> Fish black now. Thank you, Dad, for the headlamp. We're going to get there. is probably gonna be horrible but <laughs> we've made it to the top of Fuego volcanoes in the back except it's still super 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 foggy so um, hopefully we see it because that was, that was a really really difficult hike and then we're gonna have to walk all the way back down and all the way back up <coughs> very windy up here very cold After a full 30 minutes of sitting in the wind, getting a bunch of sand in our eyes, and just freezing our asses off, we are going back down to base camp. We did not see the lava, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll see it from base camp. Hopefully it clears. I have not lost all hope yet. All right, got some wine. Yay! Yay! We're back to base camp, just waiting for some eruptions. I haven't seen any yet. That's so sad. <laughs> Walked all the way here and I haven't seen one. So, just patiently waiting, but I was so tired and it's so cold. It's 10.17, I'm waiting until 10.30. There we go. One. Oh. Disappointment. It's coming. Yes, yes. Yeah, there it is. Um, just a little bit. Ah, come on. It's even more impressive when you do it tomorrow again at four. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is four. Oh my God, my eyes. It is four a.m. and we went to bed at ten thirty last night after waiting for the eruption that never really came. We saw little tiny ones, never a big one, fortunately. So we're waking up this early to hike up a little bit higher to watch the sunrise. Hopefully that's worth it. But I had the worst, worst, worst night of my life. I actually slept zero hours. It was so, so, so cold. And then someone was snoring next to me and then it was cold again worst night ever like trying to sleep for like five hours and not Ugh. anyways so i'll catch you at the sunrise so i was just going down after this that's <laughs> our courage <laughs> yes 
This is our last incline. This is our last incline. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do this. We're only doing this for the challenge because there's not that yeah. much lava. <laughs> I finally my got to see the most amazing eruptions from yeah. Volcan de Fuego on the way up here. Made it all worth it. Yeah. I just told the girls at some point, why are we putting ourselves through this torture? And at the same moment she said that, that was the nicest eruption ever. It was absolutely beautiful. The, the volcano answered you. Yeah, the volcano answered. It gave us a reason. Yeah. And now we're just watching the sunrise, freezing our little butts off. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll start our descent down to, well, base camp to grab our bags and then all the way down to where the shuttle is gonna take us back to Antigua. I can't wait for, <sighs> for a hot shower. A shower. <laughs> Some sleep would be nice as well. But yeah. This we hike is intense. It was the hardest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Nine hours of hiking yesterday, this morning without sleeping. Yeah. I am proud of us though. Yeah, we. So proud of us. Yeah, yeah, we're OGs. Sunrise was Hollywood. Wow. Look at that. Climbing back down. Did you see it? You see the Lago de Atitlan right here? Dan is good. <sighs> that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, now that I've showered and taken a quick nap, it's time for the recap of the Akatenango hike. So here is where I'm gonna give you all the information that I know so that you can plan your trip. So the hike cost 500 quetzales to hike Akatenango Volcano. We did it with Tropicana, but there's a bunch of tourism agencies all over Antigua that sells the tour and you can even book it through at um, Lake Atitlan or Guatemala City. You probably just have to leave earlier if you're starting from there. It costs 10 quetzales to rent every single piece of equipment. So if you're traveling around Central America, you're probably not traveling with a hat 
and a coat and some maybe some hiking boots. So you can rent those for 10 Kitsalis a piece, but you need a deposit of 20 Kitsalis per item. You can also rent a backpack for 50 Kitsalis. You have to bring four liters of water and you have to keep one of the liters to give it to the guides at the base camp or the top of the volcano uh, so that they can make your dinner and some soup and some hot chocolate and your coffee in the morning. And you also have to bring some toilet paper. We weren't told that detail, so we were lucky because we had wet wipes, but you really need to bring your own toilet paper. And other than that, just make sure you bring a lot of warm clothing. It is really, really, really cold at the top, and we were unlucky with the weather, so you never know. So we booked with Tropicana Hostel and we had to be at the hostel at 8.30 in the morning for breakfast. It was included in the price. The shuttle bus picks us up from there and drops us off at the start of the hike. So it takes up five hours to reach base camp or, you know, it's called base camp, but it's still at the top of Acatenango Volcano where you have an incredible view of Volcan de Fuego. And then after you eat your soup, you have the option to go on an extra five hour hike down and back up Fuego Volcano. So you can get really, really close to the eruptions about 200 meters away from it. We decided to do it. It's a really, really hard hike. The I thought it was kind of easier than going up to base camp because I didn't have my backpack or anything on me. But it is really, really, really long. And after the day that you've had, it's it's hard and it was really cold. I've seen some amazing shots of other other YouTubers that uh, saw it and I I do think it's it's really cool if you have the energy it's probably worth trying but it does cost an extra 200 kids for this hike and then you come back down Fuego back at Catenango to base camp you sleep there and it was honestly the worst night of my life. <laughs> it was so cold yesterday. We, we got unlucky with the weather as you probably saw from this video. Maybe you'll be more lucky, maybe you'll be more unlucky, I don't know. But I didn't sleep at all. I was shivering the entire night. It was so, so, so cold. And then in the morning we went up for the sunrise hike and that's when it became all worth it. That's when we saw the explosions. So many explosions back to back and like gigantic ones as well. And you hike up and it's so, so windy and so cold. You get the view of the sunrise on one side and the exploding volcano on the other side. And then the full moon was right behind us. It was absolutely absolutely amazing what a wonderful experience and then you come all the way back down and the shuttle takes you back to Antigua in total we walked 21 kilometers it's 14 kilometers if you don't do the fuego hike and it was 1600 meters in elevation gain according to my iPhone that I brought with me. So it was a pretty intense hike. I'm sore from absolutely everywhere. I do recommend doing it though. I just think it's such an amazing hike. Like you'll never have that experience anywhere else in the world where you're hiking up to get closer to an erupting volcano. How cool is that? So I mean I think that's all the information please drop your questions in the comments if you have any for me i will gladly answer all of them this is where i'm gonna finish my vlog i'll pick it back up tomorrow because we are going to the Champai. but i really really hope you enjoyed this vlog it was such a painful and mesmerizing experience and i hope that i conveyed that to you in this video so please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one bye Bravo.